everybody welcome back to the channel today we're starting a new set a new set of six for you starring iron thorns the mecha goji uh mecha goji of course mecha godzilla tyranitar's godzilla iron thorns being mecha godzilla you might hear me in the battle videos um saying cure you if you get the reference good on you uh, of course uh iron thorns is the team captain the star of the show and we're writing it's probably more quote unquote gimmick set but also one that was quite popular in the early days of scarlet and violet it's his dragon dance earthquake rock blast pin missile set with loaded dice and the bug typing so why this set well because we've been running a lot of loaded dice we've seen it used against us in that form of axe caliber so uh when i I forgot, I think the name was Kirk with that back Scalibur. We got swept in the Kingston set. So we're gonna try run a loaded dice set and get more sweeps going. I know we did one recently with Torterra. So hopefully we can get similar results with uh Mecha Goji here. So Dragon Dance is probably this thing also gets Swords Dance by the way. I'm not making that up. Swords Dance is literally right here. Um but I'm running D Dance instead of Swords Dance because this thing doesn't get scale shot. Let me make sure of that first. Yeah, it doesn't get scale shot. And 72 speed, although it's faster than T-Tar, it's a little bit middling. So the key is to... I didn't want to run dual dance set either. I didn't want to run swords dance plus rock polish. You get rock polish, surely. Where is it? Do you not get rock polish? Wow, you actually don't get rock polish. Anyway, um, I, I, wanted, I wanted to run similar to a Tyranitar. So I usually run Dragon Dance sets on my Tyranitar because it hits really hard. 134, that's same as Dragonite. That thing is going to hit very, very hard. So if we can get to plus two, uh, we'll be in a very good spot. We'll be up to speed. Earthquake is our reliable high damaging move. Uh, rock and ground coverage counters most, if not all, of our fire weaknesses or weaknesses that we have as a bug type because when we tear a bug we're going to be using the stab pin missile and pin missile will hit harder than x scissor leech life lunge a similar concept with rock blast hitting harder than the rock blasts and possibly stone edges as well but we have to make sure we hit them because they're only 90 accurate for rock blast 95 for pin missile um so that's why Earthquake is our reliable move, but we want to be hitting the multi-hitting moves. Hopefully, please pray for us. Fingers crossed we can hit the move at the crucial time. I want this thing to really, really shine here. But if we can get going at plus two, heck, even plus three, we're going to be sweeping. We're going to, or we're going to be doing a lot of damage to our opponent. So that's what I want to see. I want to see Mecha Goji uh, popping off, basically. The rest is supporting cast, and making a debut is Suzumi Bachi, the Ribombi, possibly being our lead. Uh, Ribombi is a very great lead because of that 124 speed. The key is to set up webs, and this is similar to Wes, I believe that's the person we swept when we full sent uh, Torterra. Uh, Grand Sticky Web, Quiver Dance, probably Sleep Powder or Stun Spore, and then Moonblast. <coughs> Excuse me. So. We kind of built on that concept. Uh, Rabambi isn't here to last that long, although if we can, that'll be pretty big. Um, but we'll, the key is to set up webs and disturb the speed tier as much as possible with stun spore and webs and fire off high powered moves with bug buzz and moon blast. Uh, again, it's not meant to stay long, but it is a good Dragapult counter, for example, um, if it's like locked into Outrage or Terra Dragon and it's choice. We can knock it out with moon blast. We can hit things hard with bug buzz. We can, again, affect the speed tiers with Stun Spore. Ideally, we want to have this thing be out first. And if we have this thing in the back for later on in the match, uh, do a late game Stun Spore. Those Stun Spores will always um, be key in the battle, especially if we're trying to get something slow up to very fast speed. Making a return is Corvus the Corviknight. Last time you seen this was in our Joker set. And it's running the same exact spread. It's good old reliable Corviknight. Fully defensive, fully impish, rocky helmet, bulk up, body press, brave bird, roost. You know Corvus by this point already. He's going to be very, very hard to take down. Very, very hard hitting as well. And if we can take all the hits and dish them back out and weaken other teams, we're going to be in a great spot. 
So Corvus looking great as always. Making a debut here is Jojo, the Primarina, our special wall for this team. AV, so similar to Gudra's, actually ran the same exact spread as Gudra. Uh, Moonblast, Sparkling Aria, Psychic Noise, and Energy Ball. Um, so Moonblast, of course, main Fairy Staff. Sparkling Aria, main Fairy uh, Water Staff, excuse me. Uh, energy Ball is for opposing water types. I know this thing also gets Ice Beam and you're probably thinking, oh, why not run Water Ice coverage if it's near perfect coverage? Uh, it's the fact that I have the Fairy typing, like, uh, Energy Ball, I want to run, again, for other uh, wa uh, water types such as Gastrodon that can wall us or even Lapras and hit super effective damage. Psychic Noise, now, I know this thing gets Psychic, um, but... I'm running Psychic Noise because I'm noticing that this thing can kind of have a niche. It's not ran a lot, but like when we fought when uh, when we fought against the Rain team when the Lodi set with Cloudzire against that Pre Marina, it was using Psychic, right? But we're always able to recover health with the Black Sludge and then get off recovers, and that led us to victory. So I want to run Psychic Noise to kind of be an offset hindrance. We have the ability to switch our moves. And I know Psychic is stronger, but Psychic Noise, if we can prevent healing on opposing Texas, Clodzires, oh, what's another Stallimon, uh, Milotix, Amoongus, I think that will pay dividends in the long run. So I'm going to experiment with Psychic Noise. I do normally run Psychic, but I do want to experiment with Psychic Noise. So that's the only difference with this. I usually run Psychic. Uh, this is a pretty reliable set too. Um, this is the set I normally run with AV, but I have Psychic instead of uh, Psychic Noise. So I have high hopes for Primarina being the Great Wall as it is. And to finish our Dragonsteel Fairy Core, we have Mystic the Flygon, our designated uh, special attacker, quote unquote, uh, more of a offensive pivot. So hopefully we can have our webs and rocks up, or webs and rocks up. Yeah, I say rocks because we have Citrine. Uh, we can get our webs and rocks up. We can get Flygon to U-turn pivot out maybe four switches pivot out go into mecha goji and start setting up d dances flygon hits very hard with 80 and 100 but we're running this special variant just because we know we love to draw road of we can draw burns away and hit dragon poses flamethrowers and earth powers terra ground earth power hits quite hard um like that <laughs> it just hits quite hard dragon posts so the terra ground also lets us pivot out of terra fairy uh and i out of Terra Fairy. Let's us pivot against fairy types and dragon types, hit them very hard in return with the earth power. So Tinka Tons, I'm looking at you. Um, we can hit hard see, Drug Gouge, for example. Dragon Post is coming our way. We hit it hard with Earth Power. So Flygon is here. Mystic, this is the common mystic set I run. I don't like running physical Flygons for whatever reason. I run Scarf Special and those tend to work out a little bit better for me. So just a playstyle preference. Hopefully that holds true with this current meta though. Um, but yeah, Choice Scarf Flygon. It's gonna be a hard thing to knock out, especially if I'm using it as a pivot. And last but not least, as uh, foretold, Citrine the Uxie, running Stealth Rock, Thunder Wave, U-Turn, and Extra Sensory. So I know we've seen a bunch of Uxies in the past run Yawn, forcing switches that way. I like to run Stealth Rock, Thunder Wave, U-Turn, Extra Sensory, so Rocks and U-Turn are the same, um, right? We've seen it before. Thunder Wave over Yawn because I want to lower speed tiers, but I also don't want... I don't know, I feel like as if if I ran, if I ran Yawn, I'm opening myself up more for attacks. But if I Thunder Wave on crucial mods and lower speeds, so like Scarf Urshifus and scarf ogie dogi for example we can get thunder waves off i feel like that pays off better especially if we're trying to get mecha goji going i feel like that just works out better extra sensory is always there for the power of flinch combination but thunder wave also prevents um mons that are using sleep talk so that sleep talk muck that we see could have been very deadly uh so that's why i'm running thunder wave plus extra sensory i know uh, Yuxi also gets Psychic Noise and Knock Off and whatever, but I do think Thunder Wave plus Extra Sensory is just better in the long run. Oh, excuse me, I have something in my nose now. 
Uh, the Uxie spread, I got this off of Smogon, and this is the bulkiest spread I could find. Um, this is more defensive oriented, but it's meant to be mixed defensive like Registeel was. So, hopefully it has enough bulk. Uxie might be a lead, 95 speed is nothing to sneeze at. So between Uxie and Suzumibachi, uh, Ribombi, um, it'll be the lead. And it'll be depending on what we see. Uh, of course, we're not going to send this thing out against Grim Snarl. It's just top fodder. Uh, of course, we're not going to send this thing out against, uh, like, well, we would send out back Scalder, but we won't send it out against, like, um, Torterra. Well, we would, Bug Buzz, but we won't send it out on something immediately dangerous. So we have two leads possibly to switch in. The bulk is there to cover us. Hopefully it's there. These two are very great, reliably. Dragon Steel Fairy Core. We have a good pivot in Mystic, and Mecha Goji is there to clean up and sweep. So here's the team in all of its glory. Sorry for a little bit more rambly um, type of team builder. Hopefully I'm explaining things well. Uh, but yeah, this is what we're running this week. It has all the potential to do another 5-0. And, oh. and I have faith it will. Um, but yeah, again, it all depends if we hit these moves. And that's what gives me a little bit apprehension, uh, give me a little bit of anxiety uh, about this team. But we have the coverage to cover. So hopefully it performs well. Uh, thank you guys for watching and all the support. Please like and subscribe and all that fun stuff. Wish us luck. Wish us luck to hit all our moves. Please wish us luck. Um, yeah, thank you again for watching and all the support. I'll see you guys in the battle. Until then, 